those of you looking for specious trends and hoping to win an award in Cannes someday, keep in mind that it helps statistically to name your film for the leading female character. Uh, excuse me. I believe I asked you to put a chicken in this and make her gay. Because the top award went to Sean Baker's Anora, which is uh, the name of the main character, a very self-possessed 23-year-old New Yorker who uh, earns her living as a uh, escort. Uh, she does lap dances and pole dances and stuff like that. Early Doomer. Hello, guys. I don't know how everyone else feels about it, but I personally would feel very ashamed if the thing I became famous for was directing movies that attempt to show so-called sex workers as something other than the bottom part of society who chose the path of damnation and therefore deserve no respect from anyone. And yet, this is exactly what happened at this year's Cannes Film Festival, where Sean Baker, American director, has just won the Golden Palm Award for his movie, Anora which is about an Uzbek hooker in New York who hooks up with and starts dating the simpy son of a Russian oligarch. Then both of them soon become hunted by his father. Although we can't see the film yet, as it will, luckily, only be released in the U.S. in October, everything we do know about it tells us that it's an absolutely abhorrent piece of garbage with a terrible message. One with which Baker hopes to continue on Hollywood's evil path of deconstructing the moral fabric of society and replacing it with total decay and depravity. But since Baker is apparently obsessed with hookers, as he has already created a bunch of films, namely his previous five films, about how great they are, it was pretty much inevitable that one of his abominations will win something sooner or later. And since the president of the jury was none other than the unwatchable Barbie's disgustingly stunning and brave director, Greta Gerwig, it was obvious that something similarly disgusting is going to win the festival's main award. Which is very unfortunate, as sending the message to the world that being a so-called sex worker is something respectable is very harmful and destructive for the whole of society. Especially in these times where things like OnlyFans are becoming an increasingly popular way for girls to make a quick buck without having to do any actual work. But let's hear what Baker himself, who looks like he just crawled out of a man-only bar after a long night for some reason, has to say about his propaganda film's not-so-deserved victory. And I know how difficult it is to see an independent movie in a theater. Uh, will this win help? It might give me a more of a platform to preach about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, this win is for, for all sex workers. Um, you know, the last four, five films I've made have focused on sex work. These stories, these individual stories, they might not change the world as but they, they are part of stories being told that I think uh, help chip away at the stigma that exists. Stigmas like that exist for a good reason. This is how society has been protecting itself from sinking into utter depravity, which is apparently what you're trying to force upon the world with your immoral trash. Um, it's an, in my eyes, it's obviously an unfair stigma and one that uh, perplexes me because it's our oldest profession. It may be your oldest profession, but that doesn't mean you have to pull everyone else down with yourself. These are stories that, uh, you know, that, uh, that humanize sex workers, um, um, but also just, you know, just uh, they're universal stories applied to sex work. So I hope, hope audiences can sort of connect and uh, identify. Um, and therefore, hopefully that leads to, you know, to empathy. Thanks. But we already have way too many people identifying with them. We definitely don't need more. You see theaters closing every day. I unfortunately follow a Twitter feed in which they announce when theaters close and it's just uh, knowing, it, yeah, I grew up going to movies. I've been going, I, I grew up going to the theater and and as a filmmaker, that's how I want my films to be seen. So it's, it's very discouraging when I see this and it's very scary, quite honestly. I like how he's crying about how theaters are closing down not realizing that it's actually directors like him and movies like his that are the very reason for it. People have simply had enough of you and your cronies woke garbage films with twisted morals and screwed up messages. That's all. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very oh my much. Gosh. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was a press conference for the Golden Palm winner 2024, Sean Baker, who dedicated his prize to all sex workers, past, present, and future. So there you have it. This is the kind of director that can win one of the biggest film festivals these days.
And in case you've been wondering, the other awards were not given to anyone more deserving either. Basically, just all the usual checkbox tickers, like people of color telling us about how miserable life is in their third world crap holes. The uh, second prize, the Grand Prix, went to All We Can Imagine as Light, which despite the poetic, beautiful title, takes place in Mumbai and other parts of uh, India and is made by a young Indian director who, uh, whose story is about three different women from very different backgrounds, different aspirations, and uh, what they hope for in life. And of course, the unmissable Transformers, who are obviously just the most stunning and brave things ever. This year, uh, the uh, Jury Prize and the Best Actress Award went to Amelia Perez, which is uh, a very strange tale. Uh, it's a musical with singing and dancing uh, set in Mexico. And uh, the prize for actress just went to the first transgender woman ever to win a prize in Cannes because she plays uh, a Mexican cartel drug dealer guy uh, who has always wanted to be the woman he's felt himself to be. <laughs> So this is currently the sad state of the mainstream entertainment industry. What once was an opportunity for talented directors and actors to show the world what great deeds they can achieve and provide us all with actual entertainment has been reduced to a dumb, woke box checking contest. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you want to gain some sweet perks on this channel, such as having your name appear on my videos or requesting custom content, Check out my subscribe star page and pick a tier you like. Also, check out the other videos I have here, and I will see you in the next one.